Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thank you for joining me once again. Joined by Mr. Hoover. Hello. Mr. Ben Hoover for episode 200th, 200th goddamn beer review. Wow, and boy, do we have a big boy beer today, guys. Um, you went to facebook.com slash Beer Geek Nation. I had a poll up there. What did you guys want to see for the 200th review? You voted for it. Here it is, friends. This is Tactical Nuclear and Penguin from a Brewdog. 32%. <laughs> 32% Imperial Stout. Um, basically, it starts life as a brew dog. Uh, it's their Paradox, which is, uh, I believe it's like an 18 or 19% Imperial Stout. Right. They throw it in some scotch and barrels. They do a, um, uh, what is it, ice distillation? Ice distillation, yeah. Uh, ice cream plant, wasn't right, it? Exactly. Yeah. They put it in these big plastic vats, take it to an ice cream plant in Scotland, freeze it, take all the water off, do the same thing over again until they get up to the 32%. So with that said, guys, uh, we're gonna have to strap down for this one, but uh, let's get into a glass so you know what it smells, tastes, and give you the verdict on Tactical Nuclear Penguin from BrewDog Brewing. All right, so the appearance on the Tactical Nuclear Penguin, to me, it looks just like scotch. Um, it pours like a Coca-Cola brown. It's clear, it's a lot clearer than I thought it was gonna be. Um, no carbonation, very, very few bubbles in there on the initial pour. I gotta tell you though, I've never seen alcohol legs on a beer no. like this. I mean, they it's are like sticking lacquer. to the glass. Yeah, <laughs> you're actually able to see them in the video. So if you guys wanna know what those look like, they're definitely in there. Um, no head retention. No. It's not like any beer I've ever seen. Um, it's leaving a film, it's crazy, it goes along. It looks a lot like a scotch, a yeah. scotch bourbon. So you so. just like see the, the alcohol in there. Yeah. Just all right, guys, the aroma, the tactical nuclear penguin. Definitely a lot of alcohol. Um, Punch to the yeah, face. Yeah, it's a burn. It's, <laughs> again, it comes, it's that scotch kind of really phenol um, alcohol in there. But at the same time, I'm getting a lot of peat, a lot of smokiness from the peat. Um, yeah. Again, scotch characters just coming through. There's a, a slight... Like a sweetness? Yeah, there's a, mm. a big kind of like fruity sweetness. Um, definitely getting some of the uh, espresso quality to it. A little bit of coffee in there. Yeah, um, yeah. So the Imperial Stout is definitely there. You do get some of those characters, but I mean, really the big one. It's like um, amplified stout. Yeah, it's it's just <laughs> big, <laughs> big <laughs> alcohol um, mixed with kind of a nice smoky peat. Um, again, it smells a lot like a scotch, but I wouldn't expect anything less. Yeah. All right, guys, strap on. Here we go. The taste on Tactical Nuclear Penguin. Cheers. Wow, that is intense. Wow, all right. First impressions, right at the front of the tongue is a, almost a, a sour kind of fruit taste mm -hmm. to it, and, um, an astringency almost. Middle of the tongue, I'm getting espresso qualities. That The, the Imperial Stout definitely comes through. Yeah, You're getting chocolate right in the middle. Notes. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, like, it's like a really deep, dark chocolate, that kind of bitterness from a deep, dark chocolate in there. Big smoke. Big smoke. Big peaty Wet smoke. Wet smoke. Pool. Yes. The smell, yeah. it's what I have at the very end. I had like, the, I don't know if it's a memory or what, but I, wet smoke. It's just like a like campfire. The, yeah. Oh, no. it's big, big alcohol. It's, it's like just like <laughs> spreading through my guts. It's warming. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a big warming alcohol. It's not overwhelming, which is no, awesome. I was no. expecting to just be blown away by alcohol. Yeah, I, I had no, like, you know, I, I am not a huge hard liquor fan. So when I, you know, I'm like, oh, you know, this had nothing of that. Just too drinkable for 32% yeah, alcohol. You know what? Um, <laughs> the, more I, the more I have it, kind of the aftertaste is raisins, dark fruits, raisins. Um, I'm getting the oakiness in there. You can definitely taste kind of the uh, almost the a citrusy, barrel. oaky kind of quality to it. Um, again, big peaty qualities, big smokiness in there. Mm. It's what I'd expected. At the same time, it's completely different than what I expect. It's a sipper, obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think any more of this, any more than an ounce or two, it's pushing it. Yeah. I definitely couldn't drink an entire it's, bottle. It's so complex and it's so in your face with it. Like, yeah. I mean, it is in your face. Yeah. I, it, like I said, that first, it was just a punch to the face when I was like, oh. Boy, big aftertaste of smoke. No carbonation whatsoever. It sticks, huge mouthfeel. No palate cleansing in this whatsoever. No. But with that said, I, I think it's a really interesting beer. I yeah. mean, that's. I have nothing to compare it to yet. There really is. A scotch. I think scotch. scotch it's yeah. like a really, if you took scotch and blended it with like a, an imperial style, that's basically the kind of the flavors I'm getting. Okay, yeah, I could see that, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So, 200th episode, um, epic beer tasting here. Ooh, yeah. Tactical Nuclear Penguin from Brewdog Brewing, 32% alcohol by volume. It is available in the U.S. 
Um, State-wise, though, it's going to be dependent on whether or not you can get, you know, beers at certain levels. So they consider it a spirit. But, uh, we, you know, we had a little chat about this a couple of minutes ago. Um, yeah. I'm going to give it a solid B. Um, for me, I don't know that I would seek it out again. Um, Price-wise, you know, it's not realistic to even keep around the house a drink. But yeah. um, I think as far as a culturally important beer, you know, in the world of beer culture, I think there may be not another beer. This was like their beer, big beer that kind of established the ABV wars, I yeah, guess. Yeah. Um, Taste-wise, I mean, it is. It's an epic tasting beer, lots of alcohol, big peaty smoke qualities to it. But at the same time, you're getting those dark fruits, chocolate espresso characters from the Imperial Stout. So I'm going to give it a B. What do you think? Uh, you know, I'm going to agree. It's a B. I, I was actually really impressed. Like, I expected this to taste like booze, and it tastes beery, beer-like. I say beery. It's beer-like. It's right. still, it, it, it still has its roots. So right. I'm going to call it a beer, and I'm going to give it a B. Like you said, I, it's a little price uh, prohibitive. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a great, a great spirit or great beer, whatever you want to right, call it. Right. B, B for me. Good stuff. So guys, with that said, thank you so much for watching Beer Geek Nation. <laughs> a little strong. Uh, yeah. We're gonna sip on these for probably the next hour or so. A lot, a lot, a lot of flavor in this one. So mm -hmm. again, thank you so much. Um, and here's to another 200 more, I hope. So with that said, guys, remember life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers. 200 episodes. Thanks. Here you go. <laughs>